Look at these eggs, guys. Slap. Be sure to subscribe. So I'm not gonna let her walk on the, oh. That's right, Uncle Ben squatting 300 pounds. Just gonna go ahead and put this little baby in here for now. You're not allowed to name him. You're not allowed to do anything with him. Brand new Lamborghini. I'm gonna let this one finish hatching. That was indeed a bleeder. What's up all you sussy epic, Mi what's up all you epic Minecraft, Fortnite, Imposter, Amogus, Rootscape, Club Penguin, Skyrim, Toontown's Wizard 101s, and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Sisters? It's me, Uncle Farmer Dad James Chungus. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Kevin laid two eggs. But in reality, that one's just from two days ago. I thought that Kevin would be a good dad and take care of him, but it seems that he really isn't. Though I do like that she's laying her eggs here and not in the mud over there in the corner. I'm still gonna go ahead and collect those and put them in the incubator. But as you can see, Kevin has compromised the riot shield and the lid is over there in the corner. The special pillow that PETA gave us is also over there in the corner. But first, let's take a little look at this incubator. <gasps> Looks like we got a few more babies. I'm gonna let this one finish hatching. I had to help this one out of the egg this morning because he got a little shrink wrap. This one may also need a tiny little bit of help. But all these eggs are from the Muscovy ducks that we got from the pond. Good morning, Olive. You need a little bit more water, don't you? It is now officially going to be warm enough for Olive to be outside almost full time. So I'm going to create a little enclosure for her this weekend. Kevin and Poggers are in a little altercation. I also have to clean up the rest of this yard, but we're not doing that in today's video. And no, I'm not going to tell you guys who this is. This is mine. It's my little secret. You're not allowed to name them. You're not allowed to do anything with them. This is my little friend. This is my son. You're not allowed to name him. You're not allowed to even look at him. So don't even look at him. That's a nice little hole that Poggers made. The goal of today's video is to get this little mosquito net, this air fryer, and a fridge out to the Waco plate. Hello, young man. We shouldn't have any more big, terrible rainstorms for at least another week. Poggers, sir, what made you think it was okay to dig this massive hole in the yard? Kevin, hello, sir. As you can see, when he bites this, it's a lot better than him biting the things over there. All right, sir, I need to open this door. Okay, so the point of today's video is just to go ahead and get those little eggs over there and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and slap and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the incubator whoa slap <laughs> it doesn't really hurt him at all but it, it does the trick slap 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 look at these eggs guys slap slap look at these beautiful eggs wow but yeah he wasn't really incubating it and honestly i think it's just kind of a danger to leave him in here because he kicks it around he kind of steps on but look at these beautiful eggs guy morning Benny, my little china doll i should probably have some kind of thing to carry these well i can tell just from how warm this one is that it was just laid i need like a fanny pack or some kind of sack <laughs> Cause I can't really carry this and hit him at the same time and fill. Yeah, even when I wasn't filming, he still got me pretty good here. If you guys could please send me a fanny pack to our PO box, it's in the description. Preferably a beautiful little pink one that I can wear and put the eggs in whenever I need to go and get them. But, uh, what's up? <laughs> also, Morgan and Darcidius just kind of hang in here even when they're sleeping in here at night. And Kevin doesn't really mind that at all, which is kind of neat. Look at this beautiful, beautiful egg. It's almost like that one scene in the second Jurassic Park movie. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this little baby in here for now. And again, guys, the reason why I'm doing this is because Kevin isn't good enough at taking care of the eggs on his own. So I have to do this so he doesn't just kill him. That was indeed a bleeder. Good morning, gamer. Let's go ahead and get these guys inside. Even though Poggers destroys things and tears up the entire yard, I still love him because he doesn't destroy these eggs. These eggs do have a little bit of schmutz on them, but it shouldn't really be a big deal at all. Okay, got them all loaded up in there. These guys should be hatching very, very soon. Okay, almost ready to go. I just need to set this water up before I leave. Back up. Okay, well, I just went ahead and paid $450 for some fencing. And this fence supply place is also a church. Isn't that neat? Based Fence Supply Company? Based and Christ Pilled Fence Supply Company? Montopolis Supply Company is Based and Christ Pilled? All right, but get out of the way. Hopefully this will fit. Let's see. All right. Yeah, it's open. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, that'll fit. Might need to get one of these big boys. Okay, we got the fencing, we got the fridge, and I am now poor. But at least we supported a local and Christ-pilled company. In case you guys are wondering, I'm not being paid by them to do this. I also never really talked to them. But this is Montopolis Fence Supply, the right by Callahan's, who also never paid me for the video I made. It's almost like Callahan's didn't want me to walk in the store and critique all their prices. Callahan's still won't pay me for the videos that I made for them, even though they didn't agree to paying me. So I was thinking about getting this 
this horse fence here. The reason why I didn't was because one of these rolls is $200. And we probably needed three or four at the very mo at the very least, we would have needed four of these just to get that back area. And Uncle Ben's not about to drop $800 on some stinky old metal. So we got the other stuff that was a bit longer even, and it's a bit sturdier. For 330 feet, we got that other roll for only $450, which is a lot better than paying 600 something with this guy. We could also get these little cattle panels. Some of them weren't really that expensive at all. The price per linear foot is definitely a lot better with these rolls. And these gates I would really like to own, but they're worth at least $300 a piece. And we'd need about 20 of them. And old Uncle Ben's not about to drop $6,000 for a fence that Kevin is probably just gonna run over. Somebody let us know about a little rescue emu named Big Bird. He kicks a lot. So I want something that he can kick and not tear up. One thing I noticed about these local places is they are almost never cheaper, but sometimes they're a bit more based and they're good for asking for a lead. So if you're looking for someone to get a job done, sometimes the local guys are better to ask for advice. And we're back at the Urban Rescue Ranch in Waco. Only we have a problem. That's right, I got problems ever heard of them we're gonna go ahead and rip this guy out of here but it's 300 pounds so i don't think i physically can and per usual i'm getting bit by mosquitoes and no one's here to help except young pog man but he's pretty worthless when it's all said and done aren't you buddy worthless little man you're a worthless little dog and he's getting covered in mosquitoes too so i'm gonna get out of here i know that guy watches some of my videos maybe if that guy were here he could come and uh, do a little deadlifting uh but old uncle ben could probably deadlift about 300 pounds let's see there is literally no way i can lift this without getting at least one hernia that's right uncle ben squatting 300 pounds ever heard of it and yeah i stopped to film a video for you guys okay sure hope i don't kill poggers Ugh. okay i'm gonna stop that i'm gonna turn this off. i would say that it destroyed this stuff but this was already destroyed okay now i just need to push this over and then we'll be good to go look at this little man it just goes to show you don't need people to help you ever you never need help don't ask for help be a man that's right guys anytime you need help don't ask for it be a man but all right we're gonna get a chop saw and cut these boys down to eight probably nine feet we're gonna grab this boy string it up eventually one of you nice lovely people thank you guys Thank you for emailing me, Riley and Anthony. I love you guys, I appreciate you. They're gonna be coming out this weekend to set up a bunch of the holes so that we can put those pipes in the ground. We're gonna be bringing their auger. And this Saturday, it's gonna dry up. All right, so we're gonna be able to put all these bad boys in there. Okay, now the only real thing that we need is just some wood for the corner posts. I'm gonna go to Home Depot later and get some four by four by eight. Those are gonna be the H posts and they're gonna be the corner posts. With all that stuff, that's gonna be all we need. And honestly, for all that, I'm probably only gonna pay, I don't know, I need 16 of them. Almost got stuck in the mud here. All right, everybody, there is nothing in the car except me and my pog and a mess. Now we're headed back home. I got the fridge out all by myself. I got the fencing out all by myself and in. That was harder. Just kidding, we had a forklift. Hey, found this little humidifier in this bathroom at Bible study. I haven't showered all day. Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist, DaBaby, based in Second Amendment pill? You thought I wasn't gonna film him today, did you? Look at him just nibbling on my hand. I would literally murder for this young man. I think he might genuinely think that I am food. Brand new Lamborghini freaking cop car. Oh, was that based in cute pilled baby Karen and baby Kevin? That's right, it's me, baby Karen. And don't forget to buy a DaBaby plushie and subscribe to the subreddit and this YouTube channel. Also, she's got a little curled toe, I think. So I'm not gonna let her walk on the- Oh! And to all you guys that say, Uncle Ben, why do you keep her inside all the time? It's because she needs to stand on the rubber mat because she's got messed up toes. Same thing with little Kevin. She looks just like Karen. Anything else you'd like to say to the camera, little baby Karen? Yes, be sure to subscribe to my friend Ben's YouTube channel and keep your eyes open for DaBaby's new album, November 17th. Ah!